Oh yeah, baby. Let's see what I'm doing here. I should be coming on. Hold on, guys. I got to see how I'm looking. Good morning, good morning, Laura Astrid. Barbara. Okay, I am off. Okay, let me say good morning to you. All right, so we lost power for like two hours. Businesses and everything around here. So anyway, today is a fast-paced power walk and jog hit. Okay, you guys are going to say, Angie, I don't like to jog. Well, let me tell you what. Don't jog. Ha <laughs> ha! Solves that problem, right? Am I being a smart aleck? But it's true. You've got to listen to your body, guys. If there's ever an exercise I do you don't like, look at me. Don't do it. Do something else in its place. Because at the end of the day, it's your body, your workout. I also understand if you only have 30 minutes to do a workout, in the time description box below, you can do the first part of class, fast-paced power walk, jog hit, or you could do the second part of class, which is, I think I'm calling it what, butt, thighs, and core, lower body. We're basically going to hit lower body and core for the second round of class. So first part of class, you need no equipment. Second part of class, barbell, body bar, hand weights, and you uh, a mat. You're going to need a mat as well. Now, let me show you something I've done. Just this is my barbell. You may not even have a barbell, so it won't uh, work for you. But look, right here, I got a pool noodle. And I just, if you ever need your the back of your neck cushioned for right here, if you're always like, oh, that just hurts. This bar hurts. I bought at the dollar store a bar noodle right there. Okay, I'm going to show you what else I have. And I will show you after class right here. Okay, let me come closer. All right, so this is for inner thigh. It is a ball. I saw this at Walmart. This is not the one I'm going to recommend. But look, look, guys, before we start class, I'm going to shop around and see what the best price is. Look at this. It's fabric. It Velcros. This is awesome for pelvic floor, outer thigh. Okay, hold on. Let me get in here. It's it, And you got the ball right here. So what this does, it's going to be great for rebounding when we're bouncing in the health bounce. And it is great for our alignment, our hip, knee, and ankle alignment when we're doing core. To have this ball in between. So <clears throat> I am messing with it right now. I don't think this is the greatest one. I just happened to buy it, but look, it unvelcros. That's what I love about it. It's so simple. Okay, now let me fix my uh, camera really quick, and we are going to get started. So, okay, hold on. I just want to get myself a little more even. And I am still off. So if you get a little dizzy, just don't look. We're going to start in just a minute, okay? I am trying to find a much better leveler and camera. So let me uh, say good morning. Andy, GV, Laura, Roland, Judy, um, Bernice, everyone. Okay, we're going to start right now. So we always start with the warm up, okay? We're going to start with our warm up. All right, here we go. All right, welcome to this fast-paced power this walk and jog go. hit. This if you don't like to jog, you don't have to. You're going to make this workout work for you. Tap it right to the left, right to the left. Start to take your hips with you. We get to warm it up today. Oh, right here. Just take those hips side to side. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you're at in the world. Let's start with the hand. Press the door out. Take those hips. Woo, 
you are so blessed that you get to power walk and jog today. Never take body movement for granted. Yeah, enjoy what your body absolutely can do for you. Lift it up. Woo, just a beautiful quick warm up, you guys. Get that smile on your face. We're going to sweat a little, little squat. Oh, nothing, not, nothing heavy. Oh, say hello to those quads. Hello to your butt cheeks. Hello to your calves. Heels right to left and row. Oh, shoulders are starting to wake up. Oh, yeah. All right, we're going to a toe tap and a chest press. Chest and back, getting nice and warm. We're going to start warming up in through the core. Knees up, pull down. I got a butt. A little black bug is right there. Oh, are we going to levitate today? Oh, we're going to levitate. Get sweaty. In full. In full. Oh, you guys get nice and warm. All right. The goal in track one is just to get warm. We have seven tracks with seven songs. Tap, tap, tap. Thumbs up and cross the midline of your body. Rotation. You gotta warm up and through your spine. Warm up and through your back. Woo! March 158 beats per minute. When the song comes on, we're gonna march it right and left. Track two of seven. Don't worry, your moving is coming on right to left, right to left. Oh my goodness, 158 beats per minute. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, this is your fast paced power walk. We're gonna march forward and step it up. March two, three, four. Step it up, step it back. March. Step it up, step it back. Step it up, step it back. All right, we're gonna march behind. March center. Step behind. March center. Step behind. March center. Step behind. March center. Let's march it to the right for four, three, March in place for four, three. Let's take it back to the left. March, two, three, four, in place. Let's go again to the right. March in place. Let's take it back. Now you're gonna turn to the diagonal. Let's diagonal walk for four, three, march in place. Take it back and march. March in place. Diagonal up for four, three. March in place. Take it back. March in place. Center it up. We're gonna march and then out, out, in, in. So you march for four. Out, out, in, in. Let's go one more time. March in place for four. Out, out, in, in. Keep going. Cock, roach, walk. Cock, roach, walk. You got right here. Get the heels up. Oh, you got all these bugs in front of you. Cock, roach, walk. Woo, heels off the ground. Cock, roach, walk. Oh, use those arms, natural arms. We're going really quick. Heels off the ground. You're stomping those buds. Now little shuffle right here. Little shuffle. Oh, you can take those hands up with you. Now in a minute, we're gonna march right to left, right to left. Ready, go. March. Use those arms, natural arms. 158 guys. We're gonna march four, step it up and back. Four and three, step it up and back. Woo! March 
four. Actually, it's more than that. Okay, march for four, three, two, one. Step, two times, I got it. March, two, three, four, hold. Same thing, you're gonna march, but go behind. March, two, three, four, back behind. Two times, there we go. It's a slow four, or it's an eight count. March, two back. One more time, four, three, two back. To this side, for four, and three. March in place, lateral, fast-paced walking. March it back, in place. Two more sets, two more sets for four, three, two, in place. Take it back. Woo! Diagonal. Walk it up for four, three, march in place. March it to the back of the room. In place. Two more sets, two more sets, diagonal. Natural arms, you guys. Take it back. Center. We're gonna march and then two out and in. March, two, three, four. Two out and in. I like that much better. March, two, three, four. Whoa, how are we doing? Let's do two more. Boom. One more march and then two out and in. Are you ready to cockroach? Cockroach walk. Oh, smash your butt. I want your heels off the ground. Heels off the ground, smash. Are you ready to butt shuffle? Butt shuffle, oh, smack your butt. Come on, get that fire under your butt. Yeah. Oh, can you wave right hand? March it right to left. Oh, oh yeah, baby. Oh, this is fast. Oh, powerful, strong arms. Keep that march, come on. Keep that march. Oh, Whoo, shake it off. Guess what? You get to jog. I'm going to give you six chances to jog. If you don't like to jog, you are going to right to left march. Super power walk quick. Oh, march it. Now, when she says hit it, guys, look at me. What are you going to do? Challenge your body in order to change your body. Hit, hit it. it. This is your jogging hit track. Again, you can just march. I'm going to give you six beautiful chances to jog. Woo! That heart rate's up there. We burn it, baby. Yeah. Are you feeling blessed that your body can power walk? Blessed. Woo! I don't care what leg you're on. Jog or march. That's all that matters. Always listen to your body, though. Always. Who Hit it! This is your second chance here. Whoo! If you, a lot of you have been power walking for a long time, this is a beautiful challenge for your body. We're revving up your metabolism by doing this jog hit. We're intensifying your workout. You're gonna burn calories long after this workout is over. Guess what? Rest. We are getting heart healthy. Cardiovascular endurance strong. Yeah, that's why you're doing this. Heart health, cellular health, cardiovascular endurance health. Hit it! Third chance right here. You can jog quicker. Woo! This is your power challenge right here. Now, here's an idea. You can do your jog hit on your rebounder. If you like that lower, lower impact intensity, 
Do the jogging on your rebounder. Rest. Woo! You're moving when they say rest. Active recovery, that means you're moving. I'm gonna give you three more chances. You ready? Say, oh yeah, Angie, I wanna take it. I wanna challenge. Go! Go! I want you to push me. I want you to help my body grow as strong as it can grow. Age is just a number. 49 years young. I know Marsha, 73 years young. We're all in it together. You're my teammate. You're my partner. We got it. We're in this together. I feel it. Rest. Whew. I feel your sweat. I feel your energy. Do you feel mine? Hey! Oh yeah. Woo! You're moving. Hit it! Woo! Use those arms. Come on, jogger, march! Oh, we got it, we got it. Rest. I do believe this is our rest. <sighs> Move. You get 30 seconds recovery. Everything we did on that right. Oh no, go, go, go. go. It will tell us, this is it, this is it for our jog. It will tell us recover. <laughs> did I trick you just a little bit? Come on, you can run. Jog or march, but this is your challenge time. Woo! Come on. Recover. Now we get to recovery. Okay, 30 seconds recovery. Grab water, towel off. As I was saying, everything you do on that right lead. Yeah, do on that left lead. Grab water. I'm gonna see how many people are on. You guys are moving. 32 beautiful people. Wow. We rockin'. Are we rockin' it? Say yeah. Oh, active recovery, guys. Towel off, a small swig of water. No gulps, just small swigs of water. Whoo. Your heart rate was very high because we challenged your cardiovascular system to push to that next level. We're growing our heart health by these jog hit challenges. So we are improving our overall cardiovascular endurance. Right to left, right to left. Oh, sorry. Left to right, left to right. 158. Beats per minute. March in place in the two steps. For four, three, two, one. Step it up. Step it back two times. March. Oh, step it up and back two times. Two more sets, two more sets. Up and back. All right, march in place. Step behind. Yeah, what you do on that right lead leg? You do on that left, baby. Two more sets. So you march in place. Step it back two times. One more time. March it to the left, lateral. March in place. March to the right, left lead. March in place. Again, four, three, two, one. Again. Stay here. Stay here. Diagonal. So you're looking over to the right. Diagonal march up for four, three, two, march in place. March it back. Diagonal. March in place. Left to right, march. 
back. Let's diagonal up again. Four, four, three, two, one. March in place. March it back. I know my head's getting cut off. Woo, march in place. Center it up. March center, two out and in. March, two, three, four. Two out and in. March. Come on. Two more sets, two more sets. Oh, baby. One more set. Then we get to cockroach walk. Cockroach. Oh, smash. Your heels are off the ground. Come on. Woo. You're going to shuffle right here. So press, little presses down. Your toes are staying on the floor the whole time. Low impact. We're going to take it center, march it left or right, left or right. Catch your breath. Oh, 158 beats per minute. It's no joke. Okay, you're going to march and then step up and back two times. Five, six, seven, eight. Woo, again. March it up and back. Two more sets. I'll do four of everything. One more. Okay, march in place and back. Step it back. Two times. Left leg lead. Again, two more sets. One more set. Take it back. Walk to the left and in place. Walk in place. Walk to the right. Lateral movement. Let's go again, again. Walk in place. To the right. Walk in place. Turn diagonal. Diagonal, walk up. Four, three, two, march in place. Diagonal, walk to the back of the room. March in place. One more set up and back. Take it back. March in place, center it up. March in place, two out and in. Two out and in. Again, three more sets. Come on, you're strong. Two more sets. Oh, I know that heart rate's up, baby. One more set. Ready for cockroach? Cockroach walk. Come on, smash the cockroaches. Heels off the ground. You got it. All right, shuffle with the toes on the ground. We call this a football shuffle. Whew. All right, just move. Oh my goodness, you guys, jogging hit. I'm going to give you six more chances to challenge your body and to strengthen your overall cardiovascular system, heart health. Again, listen to your body, march, whatever. You better yell, hit it. Hit it. Oh, did I hear you yell, hit it? Six. Beautiful chances or times to really challenge our body so we can grow our body. Say, oh yeah, Andre, I'm in it. I'm in it to win it. One single workout at a time. We're partners. We are teammates. Woo! If you're doing this live, we're 35 people just doing this together. Feel the energy. If it's recorded, feel my energy. Go! Hit it! Come on, feel it. You got to put that flame under that middle butt. Woo! Come on. 
You got it. You are strong. You are powerful. Remember, you can just march. You don't have to jog. Rest. Woo! Oh. Heart rate is high. I know. Give me that thumbs up. Give me that high five, teammate. We're in it. We're pushing together. We're challenging together. Go! Go! Each time it says go, why don't you yell at home? Hit it! Man, just feel it. Feel that vibrational energy. Just rock and roll through you. You are confident. You are powerful. You are strong. You are beautiful. Embrace it. Woo! Are you going to yell, hit it? You're going to hear it coming up. Yell it, man. Tell everyone you are hitting it. You're challenging it. Go! Hit it! Woo! Six. Beautiful. Woo! Heart challenging jobs. Not talking much because I'm working. Rest. Now, it's not when she says rest. It is when she says recover, <laughs> not rest. Note that, because I had to note that like five times before I caught it. <laughs> Hit it! Oh, did you yell? Did your neighbors hear you? Yell, hit it? Woo, let them know, man. Let them know you work out. Let them know when you get sweaty. Woo! Come on, push, push. Rest. She said rest. So we're not done. She has to say recover. And then you're going to grab a small swig of water and then active recovery while you move your legs and your body. Woo! Go! Hit it! May, let me just remind you how blessed you are that you get to challenge your body with a jog. There are so many people that cannot move. So even challenging your body to do a fast paced walk or a jog is a true blessing. Yeah, count your blessings. Recover. All right, she said recover. You can towel off while you move around. Look at this, guys. I got this last Christmas or last holiday, I can't remember, from Marsha and Judy. Sore today, strong tomorrow. Angie Fitness TV. I use it every day. Beautiful motto. Sore today, strong tomorrow. You're pushing now with that cardiovascular system and you're moving right now. What happens if you just come to an abrupt stop? Blood pressure variations and you can literally pass out. Ask me how I know. Through 20 plus years of teaching, I have had people literally pass out on the group fitness floor, not because of me, I keep telling them and I look at them and I say, move, 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 move. They choose not to. I can't like make them move for them. <laughs> and I say, you better sit down and get ready to pass out because they look, you know, all. All right, march it right to left. We're gonna put it together. 160 beats per minute, 160. Rightly from the top, march. Two, three, step up. 160 beats per minute. Last, power walk. Two more, two more, two more. March, two, three, four. March it up and back. One more set, 160 beats per minute. All right, you guys. We're gonna march center them behind two. One, two, three, four. Two behind, you know it. Again, woo! 
Oh yeah, you feeling it? Two more sets, two more sets, four every set. One more set. Lateral walk. One, two, march in place. To the left. In place. Two more sets, two more sets. March in place. Lateral walk, guys. Beautiful for the body. March in place. Diagonal. Diagonal walk for four, three, two, march in place. Diagonal to the back of the room. Right to left, right to left. Diagonal walk up. March in place. Diagonal back. March in place. Center it up. March in place. Out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in, in. Two times. Three more sets. Two more sets. Two more sets. Hold. Give it to me. One more set. One more set. You ready? Cockroach walk. Cockroach walk. Oh. Smash those cockroaches. Oh. Come on. Really down, down. Focus on that down stroke. Are you ready? Football run or we call a shuffle. Now, lift that left hand. Wave high. Yeah? Everything we did on that right, we do on the left. March it left to right. Step up and back. Hoop. Up and back two times. Three more sets. Two more sets. One more set. Okay, march in place, then to the back. Three more sets. Woo! Two more sets. Come on, 160 beats per minute. One more. Stick to the beat. Lateral, walk left. March in place. To the right. Left to right, march. Again. Woo, come on. Now diagonal it up. Walk it up for four and three. March in place. Take it to the back, diagonal. Left to right march, you guys. Two more, up and back. Woo! Back diagonal. Center it up. March in place. Two out and in. Four, three, two out and in. Three more sets. Two more sets, two more sets. Come on. One more set. You ready to cockroach? Cockroach walk. Left, right, left, right. Heels off the ground. Come on, press. Are you ready to do a little football run or shuffle? Right here. Woo! You got it. Now in a minute, we're gonna finish. Just with the march, right to left, right to left, right to left. Woo! -hoo! We are done with our fast pace. That was 160 beats per minute. Move, move. Okay, I'm gonna gift you when, with one last jog hit. Are you ready to be gifted with six more chances of that super heart health? Yeah? And that super challenge so you can change your body? You better yell, hit it when it comes. Hit it! Ooh! This is it, guys. Track seven. After this, recovery or cool down if you're done with class. Or we're gonna get ready for the second part of class. Woo! 
You have five more opportunities to show me what you're made of. After this. Come on, this is it. If you know this is it, give me what you got. Rest. Move. Heart rate's 147. I'm pushing it for me. Yeah, yeah, baby. Baby. Ha! Oh, it's a joke. It's from a TV show. From Shit's Creek. Woo! Go! That show, Shit's Creek, she goes, Bebe! She, did, she doesn't call him baby, she calls him Bebe! I don't know, I always think that's funny. Woo, it's a good show, good comedy show. Come on, second opportunity to push it. I like the word opportunity, not chance. Opportunity. You got four more opportunities to push it. Rest. Look at me. Let me send you my energy. I got that fire up my butt. I send it to you, baby. Moving though. You're moving. Hit it! You wanna go even faster? Come on, push it, push it, push it. I love this jog. Hit. I love this cardiovascular Rest. endurance challenge. We're ready for it. If you've been with me for a while, you're ready for this. Yeah, I know you are. Woo! Oh, baby. Burning it. Go. Always listen to your body. You never have to jog. Push, push. Rest. Woo! Remember, she has to say recover. And then you get 30 seconds recovery, and we're going to move on. You're either going to cool down, or you're going to come with me for the second part of class. Move, move. Hit Go. it! We got this. Push it, push it. Oh! Rest. She said rest. She did not say recover. So usually the old me would have been like, oh guys, we're done. <laughs> but she did not say recover yet. She is like my guide for today. Okay, honey, I gotcha. Go! Hit it! said recovery. All right, small swig of water, towel off. You can either go to the cool down and stretch, or you're gonna have a little bit of a recovery, lower body, and lower body and core. Body bar, barbell, hand weights, and a mat. Can you do that for me? Ooh, breathe it through, breathe it through. Ah, this is your active recovery. Oh, right now, note, what was your step count right now? I want you guys to comment, write it down somewhere. Write it down. You're gonna put it in the comment box. When the class is over and I close this live, you're going to put your step count. I burned 277 calories. Let's go to my step count. You guys, 
Don't worry about the music. 2.39 miles. I got 2.39 miles. Okay. Here we go. You're just kind of going to, you're going to just right now, right now, we're getting ready to switch to the second part of class. If you can't stay, cool down and stretch. Make sure your heart rate is down. If you're staying for the second part of class, barbell, body bar, whatever, grab your mat. Please right now, somewhere write your step count. I do have to go potty. Get your crap together. Move, move, move. Be back in two seconds. Okay, I am back. When you have to go tinkle, 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 you have to go tinkle, tinkle, tinkle. There was no way I was gonna be able to do core if I had to tinkle. <laughs> this is called real life, guys. This is a live class. Okay, so we're gonna start with a beautiful warm up, and then we're gonna run through two circuits of quads, hamstrings, glutes, and calves and core. So the only other thing I'm gonna ask of you right now is your body bar and a mat, okay? Can you give me that? So we're gonna start. All right, you guys, good job. Okay, here we are going to start right now. We're gonna do a quick warm up. All right, welcome to legs, butt and core. Barbell, body bar, hand weights and a mat. Time to warm it up. Tap it right to left. Super quick warm up. Take those hips. Oh, just want to warm it up. Wide squat. Nice and slow if you're just coming in and joining. Just warming it up. Want to get our body nice and warm. All right, to the right, right, left. Started. Hello, everybody. Are you ready to get bone healthy and strong? Are you ready to rev up your metabolism? Woo! Side to side. Right leg back. Little pulse. Hands up. Oh, little pulse. Just warming up. Left leg back. Pulse. Dom to dominate. Yeah. Bone healthy. We're creating bone density. Go ahead, squat, little squat. Anytime you strength train, it is so awesome for bone health. There we go. All right, right to left, right, left. Quick warm up. I'm gonna really hit those legs. We are just getting started. Heels right to left. Pull. Strength training is awesome for revving up our resting metabolic rate. We increase it, which means we burn more calories throughout the day. Women, we need to strength train. We need the resistance training. We do not want osteoporosis. Tap your toes. Chest press. We do not want osteopenia. Pick up those heavy weights. Let's go ahead and get the back. Woo. All right, here we go. Are you ready to hit the legs? I'm going to use a barbell. Body bar or hand weights? We're doing the same move. I don't care what piece of equipment you have. I have 12 pounds 
on each side. Okay, we're hitting the cat. We're hitting the uh, quads and calves. We're gonna squat. <laughs> My noodles coming off. We're gonna squat for down two, up two. Two quick calf raises. We're gonna squat for two, up for two. Two quick calf raises. You're gonna keep that pattern. Squat for two, up for two. Working quads and calves, up. Come up on those toes. Sit back in your heels. Woo, sculpt, define, and tone that lower body. Nice, slow, and controlled. You got it. Woo! You got four more, just like this. Down two and up two. Come on your toes. You know you got three more. I love this noodle. It really comforts my vertebra. Two more. I used one of these at the gym with a Smith machine. One more. Oh, come on. All right, we're gonna lean to the right. Side lunge, pulse three. Now left. Keep it going, pulse three up one. Knees track over the toes. Again. Oh, burning. Watch that form. One more. Farmers, walk on toes. Walk on your toes. Walk on your toes. Farmer, walk on your toe. That's what it's called. Work in the calves. Walk on your toes. Weights, no weights, up to you. Come on, calf time. Walk on your toes. Woo! Walk on the toes, heels off. Get in those stiletto shoes. Let's go. Quad and calf time, you guys. Wide squat, down two, up two. Come on your toes, two times. You know the drill. Nice and slow so you can have the heavy weights. Keep it going. Beautiful quad work. Woo, beautiful calf work. As you press it up. Oh, baby. You got four more sets just like this. Oh, feel it, feel that flame. Feel the musculature strength you got. Nice and slow. You're gonna give me two more, two more. Woo! You can use hand weights, body bar, barbell, I don't care, use what you have. All right, lunge it back. Pull, two, three, come up, now left. Hit a little hamstrings, a little glutes, I know. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, hamstring and glutes, just a little bit. Want to make sure they're nice and warm. One more each side. All right, we're gonna pull three, we're gonna lunge to the side. Now to the left. Lateral lunge. Beautiful quad work. One more. Ready? Farmer's toe walk. Farmer walk on toes is a formal name. You just hold your bar however you want. If you're getting tired, you're gonna take it down. Farmer, walk on your toes. Work in the calves. Beautiful job. Okay. You can have hand weights, body bar. We're gonna go into inner outer thigh. Can you grab a mat? One weight, two weights, body bar. 
inner outer thigh. I'm gonna grab a 15, inner outer thigh, right now. Now, I have a 15, you can have a body bar. I'm gonna wrap up my 15, just kind of, I'm a little bony, and it, and it just hurts my bones sometimes, because it just lays there, so I'm wrapping it up. Inner outer thigh, ready, we're gonna go for 16. One, we're working outer thigh. Three, I got a 15 on my outer thigh. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, again, one, two, three, hold it up in isometric contraction. Now an option, you can use ankle weights, but I'd really prefer that you have a, a heavier weight on your outer thigh. Just really want to burn it. Hold it, isometric contraction. Your foot can be nice and neutral. Why don't you focus on the upstroke and the lift? Whoo! All right, now what we're gonna do is place our weight on our inner thigh. We're gonna put a bend in our knee, our bottom leg. Now lift in lower here. Up, I got that 15. I really prefer that you have that heavy weight but ankle weights are just as good or nothing. Down, up, down, up, down. Inner thigh work with, you can have a body bar, you can have a barbell or your hand weight. So my job is to show you that you can use whatever piece of equipment you have in your home gym. Yeah, we're doing the same move. We're lifting the bottom leg however you want to do that. You feeling that inner thigh? Eight more, here we go. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whoo! Put the weight on your top leg. We're gonna go knee in. Actually, we're gonna go forward and back, we're gonna flex our foot. A strong, strong, strong flex. I got that 15 pound on. Let's go up and back, two by two. Up for two, down, back one. Up for two, back two. Up for two, this is for hip strength two, back three. Up for two, back four, flex your foot. Up for two, back five, up for two, back six, up for two, back seven, up for two, back eight. Okay, let's go to the other side. So again, one side might be a little easier than the other. When you're ready, lift and lower, nice neutral foot, lift. Oh, that 15 pound weight is really packing a bite and a punch. Up down, up, down, up, down. You're hitting a little glutes, little outer thigh. Up, down, keep it going, keep it going. Up, down, up, whoo. Come on, we're gonna have to do that isometric hold. And two more. You're gonna hold it, let it bite. Focus on the lift. That's where the bite is. Don't let that top leg go. Don't let it float down. Focus on a string, pulling your leg up. Feel that bite in that outer thigh, in that glute. Come on, focus on the lift, the lift of the leg. Come on, focus on that lift for four and three. We're gonna put that weight on the bottom leg. And we're gonna lift and lower. Flex that bottom foot. Up and down. Inner thigh work. Beautiful. Inner thigh. Glutes and core is our next track. Let's go lift, lower, up and down. Beautiful for hip health to work that hip abductor 
and that hip adductor. Right now where we're working our hip adductors. These muscles will, are, that we're working now, they help bring your leg in towards your body. That's their job, to bring your leg in towards your body. Eight more, here we go. Eight. Okay, you're still gonna put the weight on that top leg, kick forward for two, back one. I know we gotta do this, forward for two, and back two, forward for two, back three, forward for two, back four, forward for two, back five, forward for two, back six, forward, two, back seven. One more. Forward, two, back eight. Now, you can either put your foot on the floor or put your feet on a wall. Now, I know some of you, you're going to keep that one weight. We're doing uh, glutes and core. Some of you don't have a wall, so you're going to put your feet on the ground. If you don't have a wall, put your feet on the ground. Now, if you have a wall, we're all going to go up to and down to. Glute and hamstring work. Here we go. Up, two, down, two. I don't care if your feet are on the floor or if they're on the wall. Lift for two, lower for two. Lift for two, lower two. Your call. Keep it going. Put that one weight on your hips if you can. Up, two, down, two. Press through your heel. If you can, press through your heel. Whoo! Okay, let's single it out for the glutes. Lift, lower. Feet are on the ground or feet are on the wall. Toes are on the wall. Heels are on the wall. Insole, all of it's on the wall. Really feel your glute bite. Lift. Lift. Up. Beautiful. Beautiful glute strengthening right here. We're going to do a basic crunch. Our butt is on the ground. Crunch. I got that 15 in my hand with a basic crunch. Basic crunch. You don't have to have weight. Up and down. Up, down, up, down, lift. Really bite in through your core. No tension in your head, neck, or shoulders. So beautiful crunch. Again, pick your, no weights required. Pulse it up three, down one. Pulse, two, three, down one. Lift, two, three, down two. Lift, two, three, down three, lift, two. You got four more, we're going back to glutes. Butt and core in this track, lift. You got it, two more. We're gonna do glute bridge, walks. Let's just do the up two, down two with our bridge, up two. Let's get back into the glutes. Again. Woo, working core. Okay, let's hold our butt up. Hold, hips off the ground, hold it. Feel the hamstrings and glutes bite. We're gonna take one foot off the ground. We're gonna drive it into the chest. Glute walks, one, now the back. You can do this on the floor. Woo! Those butt cheeks are lifted. You, whenever you are doing bridge, you're doing core work because your glutes help with core, big time. Anytime you think of core, you've gotta do glute work because that's for your back. Come on, bridge marches, bridge marching. Again, your feet can be on the floor. 
same move I'm doing. All right, let's single up and down, single up and down, up. I want your feet on the floor, up and down. Woo, you feel your core working? Oh yeah, you gotta work your entire core here. Butt on the ground, basic crunches. Up. Now this is basic crunch. Shoulders off the mat, don't pull on your head, neck, or shoulders. You got it, you are strong, you are powerful. Bone health, you're revving up your metabolism. All right, go ahead. Guess what? We get to run through this cycle one more time. Cool down and stretch. Are you ready for those quads? And calves again? Yeah, did I hear a yeah? We get to run through these exercises one more time. Weights, no weights, whatever. Body weight is resistant. That's good stuff. Woo! All right, are you ready for those quads and calves again? I heard a yeah. All right, get into your squat, a wide squat. Press down and up through your heels. Down to up two with two calf raises, baby. Let's go. Down, two, up, two. Come up on your toes. Oh, revving up that metabolism with our resistance and that strength training. Awesome for bone health. Yeah. Woo! Whatever weight you desire. Let's go. We are creating lean muscle. Don't you love that? As we age, we lose muscle mass. Right now, we're creating lean muscle mass. You can't do that through cardio, heart health. You got to do it through resistance, weights, body weight. Come on. Let's go again. Woo, you should be picking up those weights two to three times a week, women. And men. Come on. Woo. Bone health. We're bone strong. Feel it. If this does not challenge you, add the weight. Are you ready? We're gonna pulse three to the right. We're gonna side lunge. One, two, now to the left. Whoo, these are a little harder for me. Quad work here. Four more. Two more. One more. Farmer walk on toes. Calf work. Come on, get in those stiletto shoes. Let's work it. Come on, walk on your toes. Walk on your toes. Whoo! Good thing is you don't have to do any more quad work after this. Or calf work. This is it. Give me what you got. Are you ready to go into the wide, wide squat? Two calf raises. Woo! Wide squat calf raises. Let's go. Again. Oh, beautiful lower body. Sculpt. Tone in to fine. Ooh, nothing like a wide squat. And those toe raises. Quad calf work at its best. Four more. Three more, you guys. You are strong. You are powerful. Last two. Come on. Push it. One more. All right. I'm going to have you take the bar. If you're using a body bar, we're going to deadlift. 
feet hip width apart, shoulders set back. Let's down two up two. Little bit of glute, little bit of hamstring. We wanna do it while we're standing. Beautiful glute butt activation, hamstring activation. Beautiful to work these muscles, your posterior chain for posture. So let's work it, hinging from the hip. Really feel it, hinging from the hip, shoulders set back down and away from your ears. Trying to hit your body from all directions. Are you ready? Let's walk on our toes. You can have the bar behind, whatever. Farmer walk on toes. Woo, I have a book of exercises and that's what it's called. Farmer walk on toes. Exercise. Come on, walk on your toes. Walk it up. Two, three, four. Walk it back. Two, are you ready? Inner outer thigh, mat. One weight, barbell, body bar. I had a 15 before. So what are you gonna use? You know what we're doing? Inner outer thigh. Oh, just pick a lovely side. You know your top leg is gonna be nice and neutral. Right here. Whoo, we're gonna lift and lower. Really make it count, inner and outer thigh. Up, I got that 15 right here. Beautiful, butt core and stretch. That's all we have left. Working your hip abductors. Your abductors help move your body away from the midline of your body. So they move the leg away. You need these for hip strength and stability. Eight more, here we go. One, two, three, four. Nice neutral foot. Five, six, seven. We're just gonna hold that isometric hold. Nice neutral foot, hip, knees and toes pointing forward. Feel that outer thigh. You're focusing on the lift of the leg. You're not letting it drop. You're holding the isometric contraction to really get that bite and really get the burn. Hold the leg up, hold the leg up. Don't round that top shoulder forward. Your upper body is not rounding forward. Put the weight on the bottom leg, flex your foot up, down, bend at the knee. So I gotta come on my elbows for this one. So right here, it's your adductor muscles, right here. These muscles on the inside help bring your leg in towards the midline of your body. They attach to your pelvis. So these are important for uh, well, your adductors are just important for your hip and your pelvis alignment. So you wanna have strong adductor and abductor muscles. Nice and balanced, right here. Whoo! You're gonna give me one more set of eight. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and put the weight on the top. Put it on your top leg. Hip, knees, toes point forward. We're gonna go up and back for eight. Here we go. Up for two, back, one. Whoo, up, two, back, two. I do better on my elbows. Up, two, back, three. Up, two, Back four, we're going for eight. Up, two, back, five. Up, two, back, six. Up, two, back, seven. Up, two, you're gonna switch to the other side. When you're ready, get that weight on. And nice neutral foot alignment when you're ready. We got three sets of eight, here we go. Two, just up and down. Nice, neutral foot. Seven, I know you're burning. Two more sets of eight, two more sets of eight. 
eight, seven, six, trust me, I'm counting, five, whoo, beautiful work, whoo, we're really working with that resistance, I'll be sore tomorrow, one more set of eight, we're going to hold that isometric contraction, three, four, come on, five, six, seven, hold it up, hold it, now focus on the lift, just nice neutral foot, focus on the lift, you want the bite in that outer thigh, but you've got to lift, you've got to lift, we're going to put the weight on that bottom leg, when you're ready, lift and lower, up, soft bend in the knee, flex that bottom foot, Woo, right here, up and down, that 15 pound is really kicking it, I want a heavy kick, more than what ankle weights can give. I want you to really work with that resistance. That's how we get bone strong. Get that resistance going. Work against resistance. You got eight more, here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, put the weight on that top leg, up, two, back, one, we're going to finish, up, two, back, two, up, two, back, three, up, two, back, four, up, two, back, five, up, two, back, six, up, two, back, seven. Are you ready? Feet on the wall or feet, glutes, and core. One more time. Okay, feet on the wall or feet on the ground. One way, two ways, body bar, whatever. Are you ready? We're going to single. Single it up. Here we go. Single. Single. This is it. Up. Glute and core. Eight more, eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Basic crunches. Up, up, whoo. Basic crunch, no weight. Wait, your call. Eight more. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Butt off the air. Hold. Everyone, butt off the air. Glutes, walks, ready, here we go. One, two, we're doing 32. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three more sets of eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, two more sets of eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last set. Come on. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. How about no weight, butt on the ground? No weight. One hand below the belly button. Pulse up three, down one. Ready, here we go. Pulse, two, three, down. Put one hand below the belly button. Let's go. Work that transverse abdominus. Come on. 
Pulse up seven. Pulse up seven. Down one. Three, two, one lower. Pulse up seven, down one. Seven, six, five, four. Focus on the up, 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 then release on eight. Pulse, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and release. Pulse, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're gonna pulse 15. One, two, three, four, five. Focus on the upstroke. Woo! One, two, three. Focus on the lift. Lift, lift, lift and release. 15, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and release. Two more at 15, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Pulse up, lift, 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 lift. Now release, last set. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, release. Blue bridge, lift for two, down, two. This is it, lift for two. Oh, we are done. You can get that weight off to the side if you want to take off your shoes because we are stretching now. You get to take off your shoes. Beautiful class. Two songs to stretch through. Wow. Oh. Yes, it is time to stretch. Just take one leg forward. You can have your feet on the ground. Oh, beautiful, beautiful workout, everyone. Whoo, just hold the stretch. Stretching out that hip flexor. Now, if you want a little more intensity, lift your fingertips to the ceiling. Oh, feel that beautiful hip flexor stretch. Opening it through your hip. Lengthen it through your upper body. Now sit back on your butt. Feel this calf and this hamstring and glute. Release. You're a beautiful sunflower. I love sunflowers. All right, take it up, turn it around. All right, let's have our hands on the ground. Let's just get this hip flexor used to stretching before we lift our arms. Now, only if you're ready, lift your arms. Lengthen your arms, expand through the rib cage. Beautiful. Can you sit back on your butt? All right, you guys, let's come over to the left. Lengthen that right arm up and over. Lengthen that top leg. Let's go to that right side, left arm up and over, left leg up. Lengthen. All right, let's take it up. Straight leg forward. If you can, put a bend in your knee. Right hand on the outside of the left knee, sit up tall, look over that left shoulder, spinal rotation. Oh. 
sit up tall. Now reach for your feet. Sit here and get a beautiful stretch. Lengthen through the back side of your body. Take your left hand on the outside of the right knee. Sit up tall. Look over the right shoulder. Spinal rotation. Reach for your feet. Take your legs out wide. And reach your left hand. is going to touch the outside of your right pinky. You're stretching in through your back and that right leg. So you want your left hand to come touch the outside, wrap around the outside of your foot. Releasing your upper and lower body at the same time. Take your right hand, it reaches to the outside of that left pinky, really releasing that whole in through your back, your fascia. Let's change the story. Words have power. Last song. Talk about the dream. Very important to work on Speak mobility, on flexibility. Existence. Let's change the story. Okay, if you can, as you no come forward, matter. slide your hands out. Practice affirmations. You'll be a lot sure. Now walk your hands. If you want, you can have your hands here. You can have your hands forward or on your forehead. Stretching out your inner thighs. All right. Take your right heel. Take it to your left heel. Lift, lift up through your left hip. Lift your right arm up and over. Doesn't mean you're a failure. Let's change the language now and forever. Just because you lost. Take it down. You Take your left heel in front of your right heel. Lift up through your right hip. Lift up through your right Let's hip. Reset. Right hip lifts. Left arm over. Let's change the program. Let's take control. Sit, right hand on left knee, look over your shoulder, spinal rotation. Right hand on left knee. One more time, right hand. Left hand. Interlace behind you, chest expansion. Right ear, right shoulder. Left ear, left shoulder. Chin to the ceiling. Chin to the chest. to the ceiling. Sit up tall. Chin to the chest. Right arm over to the left side. Eye gaze to the ceiling. Left arm up over. Eye gaze to the ceiling. Pinch hip forward. Hold. Opening up into your glutes. You're in an Indian stretch, sitting Indian style. Deep breath in. And exhale. Awesome job, guys. Angie, Angie Fitness TV. I will see you for our next workout together, guys. Okay, so you guys know that are here, I burned 516 calories. 516, I don't even know 
that I was recording. What do you think of that? Well, guys, this may be the only class because I don't know that it recorded on my video camera. Ha! So isn't that a lovely? So I don't know that I'm going to be able to edit these. Oh, well. Okay. So this might be an unedit, unedited version. This just me. The, I may only have the live version of this. For some reason, I was going and looking, and I don't know that it recorded. Oh, well. At least I got the live version. You guys always have the timestamp, so you don't have to listen to my chit chat. You don't have to do the first part of class. The timestamp, you go in the description box. All you do is look, and it says, you know, the class. Fast paced power walk, jog hit, warm up. Click where you click right there. You bypass all the chit chat. So that's a good thing. Okay, so let me read your comments now. Class tomorrow, kickboxing and something else. Um, Astrid, I know y'all had to leave. I know about time, so I totally get it. That's why I do this. Stay for the first part of class. Second part of class, do what you can, cool off. You know, at least you get in, you get to move your body, and that's all that matters. Uh, Judy, amazing workout. And love the ending stretches, 568 calories, which is awesome for me. Oh, good job, Judy. Autumn Rose, awesome. I really like the stretches. Yes. Autumn Rose, I'm a licensed massage therapist times 20 years. Also, I am a comprehensive Pilates certified instructor and a RYT yoga instructor. So I'm a group fitness instructor as well. So I hold many certifications and formal educations, formal academic medical license educations as well. So good morning, Erica, Ginny. Thanks, Angie. Loved it. Had to leave early, but did my own cool down. Awesome. You guys, that's what it's about, man, in this class. I know you can't stay for like an hour and 10 minutes. I get it. I get it. I know you guys are on like time constraints. Totally, totally get it. Hey, Laura. Okay, so Judy did 314 count, 2.7 miles. Okay, so we are going to clock today in when I make, if it recorded, we're going to say it's a 2.7 mile walk. How about that? Jane, awesome step count. Um, okay, rolling, rolling. Okay, let's see what else. I, okay, good, Laura. So glad you love, Laura is so, Laura, amazing to you. You're going to need like a pro, I'm going to drink, yeah, you know what Laura too is, I, oh, I usually drink a protein shake um, after class. Just curious what you do, because I know you teach a lot too. And um, at the gym, I am getting so heavy with my weight, you guys, like incredibly heavy, like dumbbells at 25, 30 pounds. Like, so for my bicep curls, I'm doing 20 pounds now. Oh, like for some, it's not a big deal. For me, it's a huge deal. It's a huge deal that I'm going up. Um, Anna R., amazing. I really needed that today. Oh, good job, Anna. Marcia, hello, beautiful. Holy moly cannoli. Ouchie mama. This was amazing and amazing and amazing. I was actually able to jog. Fun power walks, and my legs are on fire. Well, I, oh, Marsha, I hope you are totally listen, listening to your body like all the time, 100%, because I know you had a little, you know, issues with your, your legs and your, you know, your lower legs. So you never have to jog if you don't ever want to jog, you guys. You could just power walk the whole time. It, that's fun in itself. Um, so, Judy, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a beautiful day when you can stay for all of the workouts, but I totally, Judy says it's great, and I agree, but I don't have a full-time corporate job. So, but I understand we're all in that world. My whole family's in it but me. So I also understand what it's like to be on a time constraint. When I did physical therapy home health, oh, you bet. I worked eight, nine hours a day, and then I would come home and try to work out for an hour. And some days, to be quite honest, I was like, give me 30 minutes I'm only going to work out for 30 minutes. That's it. But in my 30 minutes, I would pick a workout that encompassed like circuit style. So I got the best out of it. Virginia, have a beautiful day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, oh, yeah, Judy. Yeah, 20, Judy says 25 pounds is a huge deal. Angie, great job. You have someone peeking at you, Angie. Oh, look at the door. Uh, I did it on my rebounders. I can't do jog on the floor. Awesome job. Now, Roland came up with an awesome alternative. For those of you that have rebounders, whenever I have a power walk and jog, 
you can do your jogging on your rebounder because rebounding is low impact, joint friendly. And you know, there's a lot of times I cannot jog on the floor, nor do I want to jog on the floor, but I will pull my rebounder out and I'll, I'll have my tennis shoes on because when I'm walking fast paced, you need tennis shoes. So if you're gonna use your rebounder uh, and you're gonna do this workout, I'm gonna recommend that you are wearing a good supportive pair of tennis shoes because we're walking really quick. Oh, my kitty was looking at me. Oh my goodness, thank you, Judy, I gotta let him in. I gotta let my kitty in because his litter is in here. I was like, who is peeking and looking at the door at me? I was like, oh my gosh, somebody hacked into my computer. <laughs> um, so, uh, and it, yeah, I only have one kitty. I, I guess he kind of went somewhere else. Let, Bella, oh, get over here. Bella, come here. I was going to show you guys Bella, but she doesn't want to be seen right now. Okay, so remember, you can always do your jogging on your rebounder. That is an excellent modification, and it's, it's just a beautiful way to use your equipment in the best way that works for you, really, yeah. So, oh, there he is. Okay, there's Bella. Let me go, Bella, there's Bella. She doesn't like me to pick her up. Are, are you not gonna come in here and say hi? See, I'll show you Jinxie. Come here, Binky, he's hungry. He always is very hungry after my class. So this is Mr. Jinx. He's 18, you guys. He's in stage one of renal failure, but he's doing really good because mama takes care of him. Yeah and I'm holding him. He's got arthritis, but he's doing really, really, really good. Um, my daughter got him. She's soon to be 28. She got him when she was in fifth grade, and he's telling me, Mama, let me down. Huh? And we rescued him. Okay, let me get little Bella. <laughs> she hates to be, she only loves my husband, you guys. She doesn't love me. She doesn't want me to pick her up or play with her. Oh, I can throw the ball for her. I'm good enough to feed her, and I'm good enough to throw the ball. But I'm not good enough to get kisses, to get all the time kisses. No, look at that. She doesn't even want me to hold her. She just turned three. We found her on the Los Angeles freeway, and we got a ticket home to Tennessee for her, huh? And then I'll show you, you guys may not know, here is my beautiful Avril. She was my daughter's dog, my other daughter. Let's see. She was my other daughter's dog. She's 14, getting ready to be 14. She's got arthritis, but she's doing really well. My daughter had a baby, and Avril hates babies. No, she does not bite. She just shakes and shakes and shakes and gets scared. So my daughter asked me, Ma is her daughter, and and so Avril's very bonded to me. She's very bonded to my daughter. So she doesn't really care who she goes to as long as it's me or my daughter. And when her son was born, she said, Mom, all she does is shake every time the baby cries. Or now he's a year old, he'll make happy noises or anything. She'll just shake like it's the end of the world. So she said, can you take her? And when you travel, I will watch her as much as you need, because she is my dog, but day to day, I think the stress of the baby is going to literally kill her. And I said, okay, no problem. So we kind of co-own Avril when I travel, my daughter gets her, and my daughter does everything for her, walks her, loves her, I mean, takes the best care of her, but Avril chooses not to be there and just shakes. And she only wants to be at my house. So um, that's what we've been doing. And Jinx is 18, and my other daughter moved far away. And uh, we decided it was in Jinx's best interest, because he's 18, not to move him a lot, because she moves a lot. And we felt that the moving would be too stressful on him. So therefore, I got Jinx by default. I got Avril by default. And Bella was supposed to be my son's dog. He moved to Colorado. But Bella decided she absolutely adores, worships, loves, just eats, breathes, and, and loves my husband and only my husband. The, the stars, the moon, and the love for Bella is only my husband. 
now my son is okay. Like when we, when we travel, he can watch her and she's like okay with it. But she has her happiest, most authentic, beautiful life when she's surrounded by my husband all day long. And he just loves her just as much as she loves him. She kisses him. She loves him. She wags her tail for him. She just loves him, but she would never do that for me in a heartbeat. So all these animals, kind of in a way other than Avril, just put up with me because I feed them and I do everything for them, but they have other loves than me. Isn't that funny? All right. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, that's my story on uh, my animals and how I got all my animals. I know it's just so crazy. All right, you guys. Um, that's it. Tomorrow is kickboxing in upper body. So again, don't get spooked by kickboxing. If you don't like kickboxing, you could do a knee or a tap. Okay? You never have to kick. You, I'll show you in its place. You can do a knee or you can do a tap. Some of you just like the cardio boxing and you like to stay away from the kicks. Absolutely. I will show you 100% how to modify. You'll do a knee or you'll do equip. So the equipment you're going to want tomorrow are your egg weights for the box for the kick the boxing. You're going to want your egg weights, right? And for the that's the first part of class, kickboxing. The set, kickboxing and core is the first part of class. So have a mat. Yes, I'll do a class on Friday, Laura. You tell me, you guys. I got 24 people on. What do you want for Friday? Do we want to do half a class rebounding, half a class barefoot stretching? Oh, Autumn Rose, so glad that you love kickboxing. Oh, I love my kickboxing. I love, love, love my kickboxing. Okay, so we're talking about, okay, so tomorrow the first 30 minutes is kickboxing, okay? And a jump rope. If you have a jump rope, grab a jump rope. We're going to do jump rope hit. You don't have to have a jump rope. You can pretend, okay? Egg weights are all you're going to need for the first 30 minutes of class. Second 30 minutes of class, I'm going to ask you guys to have a heavy weight, heavy dumbbells, heavy barbell, he heavy body bar, y you know, whatever. And we're going to alternate heavy and light. We're going to alternate heavy and light. I'm going to hit your entire upper body. Actually, you guys, actually, you guys, have set heavy weights. This is what you're going to have for second part of class. Heavy weights and resist a band. Heavy weights, resist a band. We're going to do heavy weights, upper body, resist a band, upper body, body weight, upper body. All right? We're going to do uh, just like we did today. Yeah, absolutely. If you don't like to jump rope, do a fast-paced march. You never have to jump rope. You can just march and power walk in place. That is a, Laura, that is a beautiful, uh, or Marsha, that's a beautiful um, modification. I'm glad you absolutely brought it up. Uh, okay, so Judy is saying she can do the stretching, but not the rebounding. Marsha is saying barefoot. Okay, so this is what, because next week I'm going to have rebounding. So, um... Okay, we're definitely doing barefoot, the second part of class. Um, I re you know what? Uh, we're not going to do rebounding. So the first part of class is going to be barefoot, uh, like feel-good cardio, okay? So the first part of class is going to be like a beautiful feel-good cardio. The beats per minute, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep like at 120. 125 because we're going to do big. Yes, I do like that. Okay, we can do the first part of class. We can do fit stick barefoot. The beats per minute are going to be like 120 to one. Yeah, 120 to 122. So it's going to be a feel good beat the first part of class. Okay, the second part of class, we are going to do a Pilates core, and a yoga mobility stretch. We are going to work, okay, let me tell you guys, and I don't think I tell you enough. Yeah, feel good cardio sounds fantastic, can make class before my day gets crazy. Yeah, yeah. so the first part of class, fit stick. If you don't have a fit stick, you don't need one. 
Um, so we're going to do like at 120 beats, like just a real feel good opening up cardio, uh, you know, style. Now, let me tell you just really quick before I leave. Uh, we're going to work, we're going to start working a lot more spinal mobility and spinal rotation. Um, there are a lot of instructors out there, whether they're group fitness or personal trainers or whatever, it doesn't matter. They really do not incorporate spinal mobility. Uh, rotation, when I say spinal mobility, I mean spine health. You know, we have our pelvis, we have our legs and our pelvis and then our upper body. We need to always be working rotation. You know, ro cross rotation, crossing the midline crossing down p and f patterns looking over our shoulders we need to get just spinal mobility and spinal rotation in so what i'm going to really focus in on friday i'll stretch everything don't worry but i'm really going to focus on hip mobility spinal mobility um, and we're going to really open up and through our mid and lower body Okay, uh, definitely when you're working rotation, you're also getting the cervical, the thoracic, and the lumbar as well. So I'm going to really do rotation from, an, you know, top of our head down. So you're going to love it. Um, so that's it. Okay, yes. Oh, yeah, Judy, mobility, flexibility, and stretching. Absolutely need to work on that. Um, yeah, and I know some of you can make it and can't make it for class, but always remember, I have all my classes recorded all the time. So the beautiful part is you can get to them when you want to. And, you know, you can do the first 30 minutes or the second 30 minutes, and you can always go in the description box. It has a timestamp. You don't need to listen to me talk whatsoever. Go straight where I say warm up, click the time, and you get right into the workout, you guys. That simple. And if you ever are at the end of the first part of class, you want to stretch, go in the description box, click the time where it says cool down and stretch, and go straight to the cool down and stretch. Can't make it any easier for you guys. Everybody, have a beautiful day. I'll see you tomorrow, and I will get the thumbnail out for Friday. And let's do fingers crossed that I actually recorded today's workout. If I did not, you guys only get the live, and you will always go in the description box and click warm up and get straight into the warm out. Bypass all the chit chat. Okay, beautiful part of the lives is we get to chit chat. We're together, we're a group of 20 to 40 people at any one time, and we love to chit chat while it's live. That's why we're all here, right? We're all a team, we're all partners, like we're here talking and supporting each other. But if you're watching it recorded, I get it. You don't want chit chat. I don't want chit chat. I'm like, no, shut up, Angie. Get me straight into the warm up. I don't have time for your chit chat. Get it. So uh, anyway, yeah, Judy. Judy says, I love the chapters you are doing, Angie. It makes it easy to get to exactly where you want to be. I'll use today's stretch a lot. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Well, I'll see you tomorrow, and we will have class on Friday for the ones that can make it. And have a beautiful day in uh, kickboxing and upper body tomorrow. Mwah! I do, guys. I'm so blessed to have all of you in my life. I hope you guys can just feel the love and the energy and the support and just the nurture of this whole entire group, even outside of body movement. We are truly here for one another. Life is so hard. Life is so unpredictable. There's a lot of caca that happens in life. And, you know, we can learn and grow and nurture and support one another. So that's what I'm very proud of. So have a beautiful day, and I hope to see you tomorrow, guys. Bye.